YouTube Salivate Metal here, and I've made a crude contraption from which to hold this Royal Canadian Mint Maple Leaf from 1990. It's kind of an old, semi-beat-up one, but it doesn't have any toning, and uh, but all the original luster is gone. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to artificially tone this son of a biscuit with this lighter here that I bought for 50 cents. Actually, I got two lighters for a dollar. So I figured, well, you know what? If I run out of fuel for one, I can do the other one. So we're gonna light a fire underneath this thing, and the carbon produced from the flame is what will tone the piece, and we will do it very quickly, um, because this is a way that you can literally tone a coin, um, depending on how quickly you can touch the piece after it's been heated for literally under a minute. And uh, so we're going to see what, oh, it just dropped, and we'll take a look at it and see. It's very, very hot to the touch, even though we didn't have the flame on it very often. But as you can see, it's already blackened it already completely there on the head side of the piece. So immediately the queen has turned black. And, uh, and one thing you will notice is that the, now we're going to do the other side, is the, is the material, the carbon comes off very easily, quickly with a cloth. And uh, so we'll do the other side here, but you can kind of rub it with the cloth very lightly and you can see how it kind of tones and antiques sort of gives a sort of an antique finish to it there. And we're going to run this one around. Of course, we're going to miss the spots that are blocked by the crude contraption that we constructed in order to hold the coin up. And uh, let's see if I can just get it from the top again, and I can't really do that efficiently without... A fire burning myself there we don't want to do that so we will we'll, uh, put it in there we notice that it's very hot and again it does rub off very quickly but the beautiful thing about it uh, about it is that you can tone it very quickly and uh, you can antique it very quickly and if you let it set for quite a while it will settle in on the coin and kind of cake itself on there I've had experience with that in the past with a joke I played on a friend with an old piece but let's take a look at it here it is after we rubbed it with the cloth so you can see that the uh, what's left over it does sort of give an antique and a toned appearance to it which is a which is very nice and appealing to some if done correctly with a lot more care given to it and if you use just a real gentle cloth, you can kind of rub it off there and give it kind of that look. But the key is to start off with a completely filled black surface there. Then it will give that antiqued look. Uh, now, this video was inspired by 24K, who did the same thing using cigarette smoke. And actually, I'm not sure. I don't, I'm not a smoker, so I don't know. But uh, that may be a more permanent uh, sooner. But I know that this, if you let it set for quite a while, it will settle in and cake itself on the metal, as I mentioned before. So that's, uh, that's one way to do it. And, uh, of course, in the immediate aftermath of this, as the Soft Teak and Cuddly Kitty Part 2, the sequel, can sense and smell the heat coming on. It's very, very curious, this cat is, of this process going on here smelling around sniffing for where is that smell coming from not used to it very nice very alert kitty as well so pulling us back into frame here we will take a look at the at the coin the the maple leaf and uh see where we go from here and how we can further take this so there i've cleaned it off completely now i'm just going to kind of hold it here and just very gently and lightly burn it to where it just very casually puts in a light light uh, toned look to it but it very easily rubbed off as you can see but you can kind of rub it off almost immediately around the surface of the coin there you can see one half with it and one half with it not on the piece and uh so it does look surprisingly natural when you do that, although a professional eye can certainly tell the difference uh, if it's been done or not. So there's that side. 
So you ever heard the expression, light a fire underneath your rear? Well, we just did that to soft eat kitty number two, part two, but no kitty was harmed in the burning of this coin. So rest assured, that cat is A-OK. -okay. There, look at that. Very nice, very, very um, nice antique look to it there. Beautiful. So let's light the other side. See how it just puts that, and that's carbon. So if you do that and just let it set a while, it will take root on the coin. Then you'll have kind of an antiqued and semi-toned piece. We'll do it on the head side as well, too. And you can see that. And if we were to leave that cake as such, it would probably dry that way or adhere to it. But if you're going to do that and tone it evenly as such, you have to be very, very careful and probably make it very light, a very light application of it all around the piece. So there's different ways to, to approach it, but I thought you'd enjoy this. Post your thoughts below. I'd like to extend a multitude of gratitude to you all for watching and encourage you to please rate, comment, and subscribe.